Sky and Chris from Future Music. We're here with Mark Vabas. We're looking at the, uh, the the bus synth, the yeah. electronic synth. Um, so this is a, a product line that I just debuted that last week. Yes. Uh, it's um, uh, works with the Eurorack format and takes some of the ideas that that I've been doing in my custom one-off modules that were working in the the Bukla systems and develops them a little bit um, in a different direction and brings them out into the Eurorack format, which is exploding all over the world. Um, I, I think I'd like to talk about the, the harmonic oscillator, which is my like, featured module, um, which is um, which is a, 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 an analog oscillator triangle core that has basic traditional triangle square and saw wave outputs, but also presents the, the first eight harmonics um, as, as sine waves so you have the, 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 the root frequency sine wave and then um, two times that frequency is a sine wave, three times that frequency, all the way up to eight times. And then presents those sine waves as uh, into a, a voltage controlled mixer with a bunch of facilities allowing you to, to um, bring them up with individual control of, of the, the VCAs on, on those channels, but also these facilities at the at the bottom, allowing you to uh, to sweep across, opening up the harmonics and favoring either the high or the harmonics. So using these these tools, it's possible to to do a lot of this, pretty much all of the sounds that you would expect to hear from a filter suite, but actually. And each of those those individual harmonics is also available on its own output, so they can be patched off to to individual effects or to operate as um, as modulation sources for for other. So can you process the harmonics and then bring bring them back in? Well, you can't bring them back into the, the, the voltage control mixer that is built into the module doesn't have any ability to bring anything into it. But if you it, the signals aren't removed from that mixer when you patch into okay. so so you could be creating this whatever is you're, you're you're creating here by this creative mixing, but also in the same at the same time processing Power those, those yeah. in, in some other place through other effects or to FM another oscillator or whatever. So um, yeah. I mean, take us through a bit of the rest of the unit, because I don't, I don't know okay. how, how many of our viewers have, have seen uh, all the other modules as well. And Probably none. So, <laughs> um, so this, this is my, my complex oscillator, which is um, a, a pretty classic concept of uh, two oscillators paired as one as, a, a, as the source of sound and the other as a, a modulation source. And it's... It's based on the, the, the concepts of what the, the Google oscillators that were in, in the uh, 70s, where the basic sound source is a sine wave, and then this wave shaper allows you to introduce harmonics um, of different types with voltage control of, of all of that. So um, we're starting with the sine wave, and if these uh, controls are in the low order, then when we introduce this, it's doing a wave folding similar to those um, loop with temper circuits or the surge wave multipliers or some of the other wave folding things you heard of. And if the, the harmonic um, content is, is such a high, you're able to, to, to hear um, square wave, saw wave, double frequency saw wave, and then blend between any of these actively with, I'm sorry, I just knocked it out of tune. Uh, with with um, reversing attenuator uh, voltage control on every one of the parameters, so that anything can be. Oh. <laughs> and again, these um, these should allow most of the 
the types of spectral um, modulations that you'd expect from filters to happen from the oscillator core directly. Then also we have um, this modulation oscillator which can either FM or AM uh, the, the master with um, voltage control of, of the, the modulation index okay. and selection of whatever wave, wave shape. So that's, that's that. The, um, up here we have the, the voltage multi-stage, which is basically a, a core eight-stage sequencer with two rows and some, some logic associated with it. But by using some of these, these facilities, well, to start with, we have um, switches that, when pushed down, actually are set, will set the, the sequencer into the on mode, which simply means that the, that the stage is, is on and, and uh, So if you want to mute stages, you would take those switches. If you want a basic it. sequencer, which, which is not working at the moment. Oh, it is. Um, but during the, that time, if the switch is on, the gate output is putting out a positive gate during the uh, the, 30 per the first thirty percent of that stage of time, which is controlled by this control and also voltage control. If the switch is flipped to off, it doesn't actually. Update, it doesn't update the CV, nor does it send out a, a gate during that. If it's slipped all the way up into slide mode, then it gives you a gate the entire time that the stage is on and does a linear ramp from where you were to where you're going, which is the entire length of the stage, unlike a traditional portamento circuit. So if you were to... So if it was in a really slow time, it would take, yeah, a long time yeah, to ramp. Exactly. And if, you're to, if you were able, if you decided to voltage control the stage time from the second row, if this, for instance, you change that stage that's sliding to be longer, the slide is longer too, which allows it to be used as a voltage controlled envelope uh, or a multi stage envelope generator. And as a multi stage envelope generator, with all of the stages in um, slide mode, you have the ability also to decide on any stage in the middle that you want to act as a sustain, attach it into the sustain input, and it will then hold on it as long as your key is down. Also, the facility is there for the opposite, for a stage to only, path, only continue through if uh, the key is down and get stuck waiting for the key to be down. So enabling um, LFOs that only happen during keys being held down or sequences that only continue during keys being down. Every time that the, the core of the, the clock, the core oscillator that steps the sequencer forward is actually a, a falling ramp wave. And that ramp is coming out the ref output. So this can be then um, patched into it might, as, as you might use an envelope generator thereby creating the spectral changes that you that you might use an envelope generator for. Um, so, oh, and this will also do a, uh, well this, the uh, strobe it's called, will anytime that it's pulsed either from this button or from a CV, it, Will, or for my trigger in, will jump to wherever this control is set. So it's not exactly a reset, it's more like a, uh, a an address control. And there can be a CV input. But also it'll latch if you hold it, at which point it's um, addressable from an analog CV, much like um, some of the, the old Lucas uh, sequencers, which then are uh, uh, you're able to um, also treat this as a quantizer by sending your CV, your C CV inputs in and selecting what the, the voltage out will be from that. 
So, uh, how much are each of the modules? Uh, currently, the, uh, everything is exclusively available at Analog Haven, okay. and um, and the pricing is U.S. dollars. Um, for the the harmonic oscillator is uh, six forty nine. The um, complex oscillator is five ninety nine. The voltage multi stage is five forty nine. Um, the dual four pole, which is we didn't talk about, but it's a, high, a four pole high pass filter followed by a four pole low pass filter, individually patchable in and out with voltage controlled resonance, um, all discrete transistors. That's um, four twenty nine. And then the amp and tone controller, which is an all discrete um, VCA, no tra only transistors for the whole um, signal path with a gain stage, uh, a low pass filter with um, with resonance that's um, heavily clipped, like a MS20 kind of monstrosity, um, with all discrete output, all discrete everything, um, it, and a uh, actual base filter is uh, 329. Okay, and they're all available now? All available right now. Analog Haven? Analog Haven. And what's the URL for that if people are in the UK? Can they get it online? Yes, uh, analoghaven.com, analog spelled like the bridge to it. Good. <laughs> Good. Thank all, you very much. All the extra letters included. <laughs> Thank you.